Well, let's take a look at some of these church windows. Oh, that's interesting. Looks like uh, looks like the eye. Looks like the crystals. That one does. This one looks nice. Oh, look, it's in the shape of a big hexagon. And look, right in the middle, in the middle of the four angels or whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. Look at the nice vortex. Yes, that's very Christian. Twink agrees. It's bullshit. Let's see what else. Oh, how sweet. Look, it's the baby Jesus with the Abyssian lines in the background. Oh, how wonderful, how great the Christian religion is. Any religion, they're all fake, they're all control. The judges, the priests, the rabbis, the cops, they all wear black. Doesn't that tell you something? It means it's all run by one governing power. Oh, this is very nice. So we have the seal of Saturn surrounded by a picture of Jesus wearing the demonic red and blue colors. Mm, doesn't it get any better than this? Does it get any better? Are you starting to see the picture now? We've been lied to about everything from the get-go. Everything. Garbage. Look at it. It's garbage. 14 karat cold seal of Sol Solomon, seal of Saturn. To keep the demons in the church. To keep them in, not to keep them out. Oh, that's a nice detail, isn't it? How impressive. Yes, let's make our little let's make our illusion of a doorway, you fucking scumbags. Liars. Oh, yes, very nice, very nice. What a fucking scumbag. Get the fuck out of here. Red, yellow, blue, green, the same as your Windows logo. Give me a fucking break. Fuck the fuck off. Garbage. Oh, look, it's the Archangel Michael surrounded by the seal of Saturn. And he's wearing red and blue. Fucking scumbags. This, this shit's ludicrous. Oh, they gotta make sure that that seals on everything. So you can see it now. Everything's fraud. Everything is fraud. Yeah, yes, this is very nice. Yeah, we have the hexagons on the wall. Oh, it's so impressive. Yes, this is very nice. There's the two windows that represent the two pillars, and look at what we got at the top. We've got Saturn. Oh, oh, be still, my heart. Oh. And the bricks make the make make the Masonic pharaohs. See it? See how they staggered it? Dark light, dark light, dark. Scumbags. Let's look at the system. Well, here's some judges with with the symbol in the background. What color clothes are they wearing? They're wearing black. Priest, pastor, whatever you want to call him. What's he wearing? He's wearing black. Rabbi, six pointed star, which is a hexagon, which is a cube. What color clothes is he wearing? Black. Police department? I don't give a fuck what era. What color are they wearing? With the six-pointed star on the chest? Yeah, some of them have badges, but they, it all works out for the same thing. Black. And it all goes back to this group of jagoffs that, that are named after Philo Biblis, the first guy that worshipped Saturn. Yeah, the Phylons. Yeah, how do you like his head? How do you like the symbol? on his forehead. Pretty interesting, huh? Very nice. When you start considering that all the authority figures are wearing black, it doesn't matter what denomination, what police force, whatever, it's all the same power structure. Capitol Hill, it was named from Capitol Line Hill, which was a temple that was, res that was created in the name of the dead in respect to Saturn. Okay, that's where our money comes from. People in a Christian religion are not evil people. People that are Hindus are not evil. But it makes no difference because they've all been lied to. Nobody's told them the truth. They've all fucking lied to us from beginning to end. Period. About everything. 
You know, symbols symbols are the first language. Symbols don't lie. And when you understand what the hell it is that you're looking at, it doesn't matter what comes out of their mouth. It's what it's it's what flag they're flying. What design do they have on their buildings? It's all the same across the board. Nazi, Jew, it's all the same. There is no difference. It's a difference to us because they they led us to believe there's a difference, but there's no difference. You better figure out there's no place holy on this fucking earth. Nowhere. And these people that you call disinfo agents on here, especially the ones that are dealing with in the religious aspect, get something through your head. They're not disinfo agents. Those people are there to undermine society. They might as well be taking a gun and sticking to your head because what they're trying to do is destroy the fabric of society. Okay, these, these people that you, you, that you complain about and go, oh, they're disinfo, you better start taking a real hate towards them motherfuckers because they would rather see you dead than see you on YouTube. That's what they're doing. They're tearing down society. They're part of it. They're not just disinfo. They're part of an organization. They're fucking not disinfo agents. They want to see you dead. And you better start having the same feelings towards them. Queenie Cameron. Barbarian Rebellion. Harp won't be silent. Okay? All of these guys have one thing in common. Probably they aren't human. The other thing is they want to see your fucking ass dead laying on the street. Okay? You better stop disliking them and start fucking hating them. Take your fucking Christian values and throw them out the fucking window because they have no they have no purpose here on this planet. None. Okay? Love is a word that they use to destroy you here. You don't have to walk around hating everybody, but get this fucking word love out of your fucking head. Can't you see that's what they're using to destroy you? Oh, we all have to be tough. Every one of these cocksuckers, these motherfuckers that are on here, spreading their, spreading their bullshit. It's because that's what they're supposed to do. But it isn't, it isn't because they're just disinfo and it's just fun for them. They honestly are trying to destroy the very fabric on which you believe that your life is based on. Okay? I don't care. They want to do the same thing to me that I want to do to them, and that's to take them out in the street and kill every one of them. Okay? That's a fact. Because you know what, buddy? They want to do the same thing to me, and they want to do the same thing to you. But for right now, they got to do it underlying. And you're going to find out. If you pay attention long enough, you're going to find out. It's all the same entity speaking. Okay? You keep thinking these are different individuals. Oh, no, no, no. It's the same entity speaking. Better get that through your head. Okay, so you better you better wake up. I don't give a fuck what your religious affiliation is. I don't give a fuck if you're religious or not. This is not about religion. It's about a bigger thing, a bigger picture. Okay? But these get this through your head. These people want you dead. They want you dead. You better start wanting that for them. Because love is not the answer. Get that out of your vocabulary. Okay? Don't fall into this trap. Oh, I love you. I love you. Oh, brotherly love. There is... The last thing you want to do is be in cohesion with all this... Oh, love. Tolerance. Fuck love and fuck tolerance because that's what's setting everybody up for the great fall. If you don't like something, don't deal with it. If you don't like gay people, don't say, well, you know, speak your fucking mind. Okay? This, this, this whole thing is the big setup about tolerance and understanding and no bullying and all of this crap. While these motherfuckers are on here telling you that aliens and all this other crazy shit, all these other crazy theories and stuff, were being set up for slaughter. Period. They know it. They know it. All of this started a long, long time ago with this asshole right here with this fucking X on his head representing you-know-who. Okay? You're smart enough. If you watched enough of my stuff, you, you understand. You guys are watching. You've watched enough of my stuff. You've seen enough. You know now it's so blatant. Fox News, the, all the news is in on it. They're all in on it. It doesn't mean that everybody in the organization understands it, but we understand what it represents and what the end game is. The Go Green movement is all about fucking wiping you off the face of the earth so that they can carry on their Luciferian ways.